Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're going to have a look at nSolve's merge function. So to look at this merge function we're going to set up a boolean issue where we're going to have a cube, we're going to subdivide it to make it easier to merge together later, and then we're going to boolean out this quad sphere. Now looking at this, this has got a lot of awful geometry on it. There'd be a number of ways of solving this, but one thing we'd want to do is try to get these quads. So what we'd do normally is click there, shift click there, M and then merge at last and this is all going to get very very boring and even with something like machine tools which does make this faster where we can click shift click and then press one it's still going to get a bit repetitive moving backwards and forwards between shift and one to get all of these vertices sorted so with nsolve we're going to solve that issue quite nicely by using the merge function and all that does is allow you to click on a vertex and drag it to another vertex and it will merge together. So really easy, just moving things around to keep everything in quad geometry. Now if you press D to bring up the helper menu and go into the nSolve section, we can see that we do have some additional options as well. For example, we can multi-merge. This is quite useful. For example, I can click there and there and then just drag and both of them will merge to that point. This is probably a bit more visible if I did something like there and there and dragged there and then everything will merge to that one point. Not that I'd probably do that in this situation. The other option that we have, let's just turn off multi-merge, is to center merge. Now again I'll do this over here in a way that we wouldn't do but just to show what it does. It will just work as we normally would do if I click, shift click, M and then merge at center. It will merge at the center of those two points. Or if I was using machine tools, I could press shift and one to do the same thing. Well, this will mean that I don't have to click on anything. I can just grab that vertex, move it to there, and it nicely shows a black sphere of where that's gonna merge together, and we can merge those together. This will also work in multi-merge, so let's just bring in multi-merge, where I could click, let's say, all three of those, and then just drag to that one, and then it's gonna merge that perfectly in the center of those selected objects. So a lot of versatility there. Though once again, I really wish that I didn't have to come to the helper menu to select these. It would be really nice if I could just click and hold down on this button here, and then it had those as options. Though I guess that would provide the problem that you wouldn't be able to select both of them at the same time. So maybe this is a way you have to go. Perhaps it would be good if you had multi-merge there as an option, and then you just held down shift to merge at center. Quick update since recording this, and Master Zeon, who's behind Team C, was kind enough to reach out and has actually been really generous with his time talking me through some other elements that I hadn't even realised was going on within Ensolve. So really, really massive thanks to him. And some of the future videos I'm going to do is going to really benefit from that additional knowledge that he's been willing to impart and spend some time talking me through. So... Firstly, I wanted to show that the merge function actually does have an ability to use the center function without having to select, if I press D and come to the merge function, this center merge. So if you don't want to have it working all the time, say you're merging things together and you just decide you want to do it once, what you do is you just drag as you normally would and then hold down Alt and it works as a center merge. So that's really cool. The other thing I should also say is that you don't always have to bring up the helper menu. You can just come to, if you notice here, I haven't talked about this yet, I'm gonna do it in a future video, but you have all the different choices of what all of your buttons can do. So for example, at the moment, left mouse button, which is the setting here, is set to merge. And if we click there, we can also choose to do multi-merge from that menu. So that's another way of getting this. And you'll notice that multi-merge has got an M. And if we put center merge, we get a C, or you can just have one of them on. So it really clearly shows you what you're doing. And that will work from either place, from the solver menu as well. So it's really clear what you're doing in these menus at the top left-hand corner. So once again, thank you, Master Xeon or MX2. That's hugely appreciated. And hopefully everyone also appreciates your involvement. It's so good to be able to talk to someone who's so obviously involved and active in what the community is doing and is really passionate about what they do. So thanks again. As always, if you found that useful, please do hit the like button. There's a few links in the description, including a link to nSolve, which is an affiliate link which costs you no extra, but means that you help support the channel a little bit, as well as a link to the playlist for nSolve, where there's a lot of other videos on nSolve, including the N Suite. And finally, if you want to support the channel any further, there's a link to the Patreon where you get these videos ad-free and a week ahead of time, which means you've got all the other videos for nSolve and the tools within it already up there. Have a great day, guys.